and welcome to Fuel the Flames. I am Brian, also known as Malorian, and this is episode one, but not only the start of this series, but the start of this channel. Now, Field of Fire, you probably know them from all their podcasts. They do great stuff covering War Machine and Hordes and Monpoc, all this different stuff. And now we're looking to branch out into YouTube. So this is our kickoff. This is our brand new channel here. And I'm just going to be one of several content creators because the idea of this is to take basically whoever is interested in making content and bring them here to do their own series so that no matter what you're looking for, this can be a go-to place just to find positive hobby content. Now, with that in mind, let's talk about this series, which is Fuel the Flames. Now, what this is going to be all about is normally if you see me and my Malorian channel, it's going to be all about War Machine. Well, this is not just War Machine. This is going to be covering anything hobby. I don't care if you like playing with Space Marines or maybe Signar or D&D or whatever your hobby is. We're all brothers and sisters of nerdery here. We're all on the same team and I don't care. What I want to do with this series is I want to help you identify what are the things that you really enjoy and move them to that next level so that you enjoy them even more. Now, in future videos, what we're going to be doing is taking specific aspects of different type of hobbies out there and talking about how you can be developing those skills and those interests to not only improve your your enjoyment of it, but basically everyone's enjoyment of it around you. But what we need to do in this video right here, number one, is that we have to go and find your flame. We have to find what is the thing that you are passionate about in your hobby. Now, I know when I say that, you probably think to yourself like, oh, Brian, passion. I no, that's not really me. I, I think you might be on the, the wrong track here. No, that is absolutely wrong. This is on the right track and you definitely have hobby passion in you. How can I be so sure of this? Well, because you're here. You're somebody that no matter what hobby you're in, you're in a hobby and you're in that hobby for a reason. Now, as we try and find your flame and try and find your passion, Again, let's maybe just ignore that word for right now. If that's what's throwing you off, let's find out what brought you to that game because that's going to be very important. So if you can think about your maybe one of the hobbies that you want to be developing because you might be a person that has several hobbies and several interests. That's how a lot of us are. You know, our bag of nerdery is humongous and vast in its, its wealth of different opportunities. But what is the one that you think that you really want to be looking at at this series that you're like, mm, I, I, I like this, but I could like it even more or I really like this and I want to find a way to share it with everybody else. Now, I want you to think about whatever hobby Hobby, that is and think about what first got you into it now sure you can say like oh my body so-and-so brought it over one day and, and that's how I got into it that's not what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is what got you personally interested in that hobby was it maybe that you saw the models and you saw the models and said that's awesome I want to be building those and playing with those or like I said building maybe that's the big thing there it's not the sight of the video and the, the just the look of it maybe it's actually the building of it you're just really into the idea like yeah I want to be building these knights and putting them together or maybe it's something where you really like the painting so like okay building not that big of a deal but once it's together give me a paintbrush and that's where I'm in or maybe you're into the gaming. That maybe after that, when all the models are put together, where you really shine and where you really enjoy is when you're on the table and there's an opponent on the other side and you and them are going to figure out who's better than the other that day. Maybe that's what your passion is. Maybe it's not even that. Maybe it's more the community. Maybe the real thing that brought you to this is just the people and the idea that, hey, we can all get together and have a great time. You know what I like having? Great times. And so that's the big thing I'm going to focus on.
Or maybe the thing from the hobby was the lore and the story behind it. There's so many different ways that you can be cutting every single one of those hobbies. It can be very simple just to say like, oh, 40k is a, is a board game with models and D&D is something you do with dice. But really, when you look at any single one of these things, there's many different components to it. And there's got to be at least one. Maybe it's two. I'll give you that possibility. But there's probably one big thing that when you saw this in this game, you're like, yes, that is the thing that I want to do. Sign me up. I'm in this game. Well, guess what? That's your passion. That's the thing that I want to grab onto and trying to find a way to push to the next level. Now, past that, maybe you're not, something's still not coming to your mind. You're like, oh, I, I got into it. I'm playing. But there really wasn't really one thing that got into me. You, Brian, you're, you haven't really found what my passion is. Well, okay, let's look at this in a different way. Let's say it's been an awful week. You've been going through the week. It's just been hassle after hassle at school or work or whatever your you know normal day is. Every day when you come home, it's just chores, 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 bills, bills, bills. So many things you need to work on. You know, you're fighting with your family. You're fighting with your friends. You finally fight all the way to the weekend. And now you're able to carve out this glorious two hours just to yourself. Two hours that you can just do whatever thing that you really enjoy. Now, I'm going to assume we're not going to just say TV or something like that. But if it's hobby related and you had two hours to do one thing, what would you do? Would you pull things out the paint to build? Would you rush off and get a game? Would you go and write an article? Whatever it is, what would be that thing, that precious two hours that you would do in, with that hobby? That, again, is probably what your passion is. That is going to be the thing that we want to focus on. And I think another big thing here that I want to focus while we're talking about this right here is that it's not just going to be a thing here where if I can go and find your passion and find a way to take that little spark and turn it into a fire, not only is that going to make it so that you're going to just enjoy your hobby more, not only is it going to make it so that others around you in that hobby are going to enjoy that hobby more, but also... It's just going to improve your life. It's just going to improve your mental health. Like I said, life can sometimes be a bit of a tough thing. And these hobbies are generally what us nerds like to do just to get away from things, reset, get that moment of zen, and then take on the next week. And I got to tell you, if we find a way to identify that passion and find a way that you can just get more enjoyment out of it, that's just going to make you a happier person and give you a better life. So I know that seems like really grand goals for this channel and this series, but I'm literally trying to just improve your life. And so if you can work with me and trying to find out what that passion is, like I said, so we can work on that in future videos, that's huge. Now, again, I'm going to give you one more chance where maybe you're saying to me, Brian, there, there's not really one thing that brought me into the game. There's not really one thing that, you know, like if I had two hours, that's what I'm going to do. Well, what I want you to think about then is what would be the thing that would ruin the hobby for you so that if this single thing changed about the hobby, that's it. You're out. You're done. Maybe that thing is going to be, hey, you know, if it turns out the models came pre-made, I just really wouldn't be any interested whatsoever. Or if they came pre-painted, or if, you know what, we could get the models, but there just was no tournament scene anymore, that would be it. Or maybe there's a tournament scene, but your local group is all disbanded. You're having to go and travel. You're always playing with people that you've never met before. There's not that camaraderie there. Whatever is the thing. What is that thing? Think of your mind. What would take you to that spot? Where when this one thing's taken away, you are done with the hobby and you want nothing else to do with it. Again, I'm going to say that is your passion. So from those three questions and the way that we're trying to find your flame, to find your passion, hopefully you've identified one, if not more than one thing that we can then go in the future and be working on to take to the next level. So just so you know, Fuel the Flames is going to be coming out every two wait weeks right here on the Field of Fire YouTube page. If you want to be getting these, 
well, you might want to subscribe. So go down below, subscribe to the channel. And like I said, the whole point of this Field of Fire channel is really to bring together lots of different content creators so that we can bring you on for everyone's positive view takes on the hobby. And if we can have all these hobby people coming here and just improving everybody's hobby that much more, that'd be pretty awesome. So if you're one of those people and maybe your passion is making content in YouTube videos, hey, come on here, even post down below. There'll be a link to our YouTube page or our Facebook page rather. Let us know and we can either work with you to maybe be helping you make that content or if you're ready to jump in, come on in and you can be joining the channel as well. So there you have it. Thank you for watching the very first episode of Fuel the Flames and I hope by the end of this, you found your fire, you found your passion, and you're ready to make it so you just basically have a better life. Catch you in two weeks. Bye.